Holy fuck, I'm a weak bitch. Ow. Fuck. Hello and welcome back to another episode on the Skyline Lexi YouTube channel. Today we are back here with the Skyline. The Skyline is home finally. I actually recorded the whole day bringing the car out of storage and if you follow me on Instagram you know that I got a new camera and I recorded the entire day in slow motion by accident and there was no audio attached to any of the clips so I was not able to use any of that footage unfortunately but right now I'm going to insert some of that footage without the audio just so I feel like it's not wasted so please enjoy. Hope you enjoyed that. So we are back to our regular scheduled programming of Skyline Lexi. If you missed it, I did an episode on my winter beater, the Aveo. I will link that video up here for you if you wanna take a peek. So first thing on the agenda for the Skyline this year, I've had this clicking, squeaking sound coming from my front right wheel well. It's kind of progressively gotten worse over the last couple of years and it's quite embarrassing going over bumps and you just hear this really terrible noise. So I've begun to investigate what that is. Uh, my first assumption was the ball joints on the GTST. There is one coming off the um, lower arm that goes to the knuckle. So I ordered a new pair from Boost Factory. They should be here sometime today waiting for that delivery, but I'm gonna start taking everything apart and getting the old ones out before the new ones come in. Today, as I was jacking up the car to check um, and see maybe if I could actually find the source of the noise, as I was jacking the car up, that same noise sounded like it might have actually been coming from my upper control arms. So, if it is that, we may have to go back in there later and replace those as well, but um, I'm not mad at replacing the ball joints anyway. I've had this car for eight years now and don't know if those have ever been replaced and it's a 1993 vehicle, so it'd be good to get them done anyways. Once again, I have never done this before, so this will probably be a journey. I will stop blabbing and let's get right into it. So this is Lexi from like three weeks later. I always have to remember that when I'm doing installs, if there's two sides, to always do one side first and then film the other side because I always run into stuff that just takes too long to film. So it's best if I do one side, figure it out, and then do the other side and film it. So I'm going to properly film the other side of 
um, the car with the ball joint, so that's the left side. Kind of sad because put the front right one in, took it for a drive, and it did not fix the noise and problem that I'm having. However, the ball joints did need to be replaced, so all is not lost, I guess. Lucky for you guys, I'm all dolled up today, which never really happens when I'm working on my car, but I had um, an early morning photo shoot, so make sure you're tuned into the Instagram for those pictures. We've had both the Skylines out today, which is super exciting, that rarely ever happens. So let's do this frickin' ball joint. So I've gotten the um, cotter pin and the castle nut off of the ball joint here. This is kind of where I didn't really know what to do next on the other side because I couldn't really move this lower control arm while it was attached to the car and I just ended up going down a rabbit hole and we just, whatever. So now that I know what to do from the other side, I'm going to take the tension rod off from the lower control arm here and then also take the lower control arm off from the chassis over here and then that way I'm able to um, get the old ball joint out. whole control arm out with the old ball joint attached. Remember there is a C-clip down at the base of the ball joint here. We were able to actually just smack this out with a hammer from here and then press the new one in. So I'm going to try and just smack it out. Yay! <laughs> That's fun. So now I've got the press all set up with the new ball joint in the control arm here. It's a little bit hard to do by yourself. I'm gonna try and hold it and use the impact gun at the same time to press it in. Fuck that flag. Okay, 
filming from my iPhone since my card got full on my camera, but I wanted to show you this is all pressed in. Um, I was not watching and I caught a little bit of the edge and I got lucky it didn't pierce through this rubber piece, but this is in and ready to be put back in. Don't forget to put the new C clip on there though, which is what I'll do right now. So here we are, new ball joint in right here, put the castle nut on, everything's back together all nice and tidy. Unfortunately didn't fix the sound that I was chasing, but that just means there's more content on the way. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much. Please so don't forget to subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Don't forget to follow on Instagram at Skyline Lexi, and we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to blah, blah. Now I'm getting nervous because you're talking to me.